Thieves broke through the front door of a computer store and then started cleaning it out. Now at 6, why investigators think they've done this kind of thing before. Good evening, I'm Brendan McLaughlin. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with the crime alert in Brandon. Deputies are searching for three burglars who not only broke into a CompUSA store, but used a stolen car to rip the front doors right off the place. Our Don Gourmets is live in Brandon. And Don, I know these guys did quite a bit of damage out there, huh? Yeah, they sure did. In fact, if you look behind me, you can see the door is gone. There's a clerk there. No door because it was trashed about 5.30 this morning. Look, CompUSA is no stranger to smash and grab burglaries. They even have these ballards or pillars installed so that nobody can drive through the door. It's happened in the past. Well, these thieves did it the other way. They yanked the doors out, and it was caught on tape. That store surveillance video of three thugs kicking in the doors to the Comp USA in Brandon. They had already used a chain and a stolen car to breach the security gate. They were then able to use that car to yank all of that, the gate and the glass doorways, out from the entrance. This is the aftermath. <laughs> The thieves caused $25,000 damage to the store's doors and unknown damage to the stolen car used to break in. They got away with one TV and two monitors, about a thousand bucks worth. My heart sinks. Uh, I, you know, I don't, I don't like it when things like this happen. Customers at the store were upset, understandably. They consider themselves victims too. It affects everyone because, you know, the stealing and stuff like that does cost. Yeah us money because someone has yeah, to replace and everything has to go up. Detectives spent the day tracking the thieves and believe this could be part of a statewide operation. We have information that this may be involving uh, individuals that range from here all the way down to Miami. We've, we've seen other stores uh, that have had similar incidents happen. So while they're looking for three suspects right now, they don't know if they're still in Brandon or they may have hightailed it all the way back to South Florida. Live in Brandon, Don Gourmet's ABC Action News.